Hi, good morning everybody. Jill Allen here from Jill Allen and Associates. I am the owner and founder of the company and we focus on startups and doctors who've been in practice eight years or less. And today during our coffee talk, we are going to be talking about the importance of, believe it or not, your Google business page. This question actually came in from one of my startup doctors who had said, you know, hey Jill, you know, is, I, I know there's just so much to do when I'm getting ready to open up my practice and as I'm getting going. And is, is it really that important to spend time setting up my Google business page and I thought you know this is this is actually a really good um, talk point that I think that I think that we should address during our coffee talk and my answer is yes you absolutely should take time to set up your Google business page and I would tell not only my startup doctors this but even existing doctors if it has been a while since you have actually been on to your Google business page or maybe it uh, you don't even have one set up or that you really know uh, I think that it is time especially now with where our industry is at that you know more than 65% of uh, users out there that are using the internet are using Google as their search engine I think that now is the time more than ever to make sure that we have a good solid Google business page and the reason I think that it is so important is uh, Google Google Analytics has changed so much over the last couple years and especially in this last year that Google is really looking at our business page as kind of our home front or our business front for our business and so they're looking for our hours and they're looking for um, reviews and they're looking for uh, just different pieces that we can fill up on our business page to make us look like a legitimate business and when we do this what this is going to do is this is going to help us with our SEO which is search engine optimization and that is something that is especially as a new business we really want we want to be able to have our business show up on the first page when somebody searches we want it to show up organically and organically means that we're not in the paid section at the top or on the side we're actually showing up in the page um, on on that first page of, of a Google search so one area that can help us a lot is uh, working with our uh, Google business page the other thing that is imperative I cannot say this enough to existing or startup doctors is you need to have Google reviews um, and in my opinion the most important place that you're getting reviews is on Google I know we want reviews on our Facebook I know we want them um, depending upon where you're at in the country I know we want them on Yelp I know that we want them you know in, in different areas but Google is the number one uh, place that we want to push and ask our friends and our family and our patients to give us reviews because that is going to push us uh, up in our ranking and help us score higher so that we will come up um, higher organically within that search engine um, search so again I want you to really uh, think about in this next uh, bit reviewing your Google page if it's been a long time since you've been on it get on there get it updated fill out as much information as possible Google wants pictures on there now Google wants you to um, uh, respond if you get a if you get a review uh, you get ranked higher if you'll actually respond to your reviews so take the time to say thank you take the time to interact a little bit with whoever is giving you a review that's gonna help you out take the time to go in and fill out all the back end side of your pages um, because again it is about search engine optimization or it's about getting your uh, website to rank higher the other thing when we think about marketing and I'm just going to throw this out there is you really need to think about where are you putting your social media energy so we've got a couple different platforms out there and if you want to have a strong game and you want to really uh, be coming up well you want to make sure that you are thinking about are you no matter what you think about Facebook do you have a Facebook presence do you have an Instagram presence um, I know TikTok is kind of a hot thing right now and you know politically you know some people are like don't 
be on it, don't be on it. Um, it that's going to be up to you. But TikTok is still a very strong, um, you know, is, is a really strong platform to be on. And also maybe look at your LinkedIn too. Again, we want to look at all these different avenues because guess what? Each one of them have a different audience um, that we can attract and that we can be in front of. So when we are out there looking at getting our social media game in place along with just our um, our virtual storefront, which is our Google business page, we want to just make sure that we are hitting all these different areas and you may have to change your marketing tune a little bit or you know have, have a different tone for each of these different platforms. So that is, you know, again, just such a, a, a good question that came in from one of my doctors. And so I really want you to work on, if you aren't already, think about your Google business page, think about your social media platforms as you're going into this next week, and just really make sure that you are taking the time to shore everything up so that you can have good search engine optimization. You can be found organically without having to pay for um, different um, you know, modes to get you to the top of a page. So uh, again, Jill Allen here from Jill Allen and Associates. Uh, this was Coffee Talk. And um, I am just, again, so excited. My team and myself are here to help. If you are a startup doctor who is uh, looking to get into the orthodontic um, industry, we are here to help. If you are an existing practice, I love working with existing practices that uh, maybe it's just time to get in and update systems and get you ready to go for this next uh, couple years in business. We're here to help and uh, we'll talk to you next week.